A study from the University of Toronto is raising serious questions about the use of new policing technology in Canada. Joining us now to talk more about this is Xiao Li Li, our Ottawa reporter. Xiao, good morning. Good morning, Mary. So tell us about this new technology. Yeah, so the report called to surveil and protect breaks it down into two categories. There is something called predictive policing, where existing data is crunched to try and predict when and where crimes will happen. And they do this either by crunching existing police data to find patterns or sweeping up huge amounts of social media information to try and identify people who are likely to commit a crime. The other category is algorithmic policing, which also involves a lot of broad information gathering, things like license plate readers, facial recognition technology, social network monitoring. And it's important to differentiate this from traditional police work. In traditional police work, they identify suspects and they hone in on individuals. In this case, in algorithmic policing, they just get massive amounts of information on a broad swath of people. Both are being rolled out by police agencies across Canada. and. In many cases, they're doing it without prior public notification or consultation. Okay, so why, why are lawyers concerned about this? What, why are the concerns being raised? Well, there's a number of concerns, including the notion that people who haven't committed any crime or who are not suspected of having committed any crime are having their data gathered by police organizations. I mean, it's 2020. We're all used to big corporations like Facebook or Google gathering up our data, but it's a little different when it comes to the police, which is an arm of the state. People have a right to privacy, and just because they've signed up on Facebook or Google having their information, that doesn't mean they want police or the government to have that same information. The report also details that specific programs like RCMP's Wide, uh, Project Wide Awake, uh, which tracks social media, has been used to identify people who might participate in protests or social justice movements. And this really starts to hit on issues of freedom of expression and freedom of assembly. Human rights attorneys I spoke to yesterday said it's very clear that when people know they're being observed, they behave very differently. And there's also the issue of, do these technologies even work? They've been rolled out in the US and UK, and they've had to be rolled back because findings there indicate some of it is spotty, it doesn't really offer new insights in some cases, and in the case of facial recognition technology, it's actually not good at identifying black, indigenous, or people of color faces. They, it, it kind of mixes them up. All right, that's a little concerning, so we'll be watching closely for an updated report on that. Let's talk Ottawa now. Governor General Julie Payette, she is facing some serious accusations that she created a toxic workplace, and now she's under investigation. Yes, this uh, first came out around July. There were allegations from a number of employees at Rideau Hall that Payette had created a toxic work environment, alleging that she's yelled at and belittled employees, alleging that she's called them lazy and things like that. The Privy Council office, the Cabinet office, announced a pro back in July, but just this week yesterday, the PCO announced it's hired an external firm to do a probe as well. Quintet Consulting, which specializes in workplace conflict resolution, they're going to be interviewing current and former staff, as well as the governor general herself, to produce a report by the fall. However, in the terms of the contract say this report won't be made public unless it's mandated by law. So we could be waiting a while longer to see what their findings are. Wow. All right. Well, Xiao, thank you so much for the update on that. Always great to see you. Have a great day, and we'll see you next week at the same time. Cheers.